There is word tonight that former gubernatorial candidate Elliot Cutler will plead guilty to possessing child pornography on Thursday. In exchange for that guilty plea, he is asking to serve just nine months of a four year sentence. Now, if the judge accepts that plea, it will bring to a close a case that began two years ago when police were first tipped off about Cutler. <laughs> Elliot Cutler was a wealthy lawyer and businessman and once a trusted aide to Senator Ed Muskie and an advisor to President Jimmy Carter. But most Mainers didn't know who he was until he ran for governor, twice as an independent candidate. Today I'm announcing my candidacy for governor and there are blue skies ahead for the state of Maine. He came within two percentage points of winning in 2010, but since his second loss in 2014, he drifted away from public life. That is, until Maine State Police executed search warrants at his homes in Portland and Brooklyn, which is in Hancock County, on March 23, 2022. Their investigation began three months earlier when a tip came in from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. On January 6, 2022, the State Police Computer Crimes Unit reviewed a video file. An agent tells the court it showed an adult male abusing a girl between the ages of four and six. The agent also said an IP address was traced back to Cutler's homes. On March 25th, Cutler was arrested and later charged with four counts of possessing unlawful sexually explicit material, a Class C felony because the images involved children younger than 12 years old. Cutler was released from the Hancock County Jail the following day. Bail conditions restricted Cutler from having any device that can connect to the Internet. A judge later granted him access to a laptop and a phone, despite an indictment showing he possessed, quote, literally thousands of videos of children being sexually abused. Cutler is paying the cost for that monitoring service. We set up a whole program, uh, software that's downloaded directly to the computer, uh, we have a program where there's actually third party monitoring to make sure that everything uh, that might be of concern is something that people can see, the, uh, the DA's office, myself. In a sentencing memorandum filed Monday, Walter McKee wrote that his client has and will accept total and full responsibility for his crimes, for which he feels deeply ashamed. McKee goes on to say that Cutler, quote, recognizes the great harm he caused to those whose images he viewed, as well as the harm to his own family. Elliot Cutler has agreed to pay $5,000 to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, the very agency that tipped off the investigation. The 76-year-old is expected in court Thursday for sentencing. If his terms are accepted, Cutler will face four years of incarceration, but will only serve nine months, then six years of probation.